Hello everyone, my name is Ash and welcome to my crafting corner. Today we will be painting Black Cat from Marvel. I grew up with watching lots of cartoons, so for me, I know her best from the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. I think she was such a cool character, going from a snobby rich girl to this really cool cat burglar. I also love her voice actress, Jennifer Hale. She has such a lovely voice. I think one I know her best from is Sam from Totally Spies. Sam wasn't my favorite of the three though. Alex was. I need to find a better setting either with my camera or inside Adobe Premiere to help the skin tone paints show up better. If you know of a way I could do that, please comment below and let me know please. When I finish the first layer of skin tone, I always seal it in a clear coat to protect if from me screwing it up later. When applying the black paint to the body, work in light coats at first to slowly build up a layer, doing it all at once, at least for me. Never really works well. I'm not sure why, but that's just how it works for me. Her outfit is literally three colors, black, white, and silver. Now, after I'd finished the whole body in black, I didn't like it. It was just too monotone for me. So I decided to try out giving the suit a complete dark blue over it all. It took many coats to get it to show, but I really like how it turned out. Here I am using the same blue before, but I added some white paint to brighten the color on it. My goal was to add some highlights to areas that the sun would hit, like the shoulders, knees, and parts of the legs. This is something I want to learn more about and get better at doing, because while it is hard to do, the finished paint looks miles better than any previous works I've done. You can see here how much the colors really make it look better compared to just black. The fur on the suit is just a standard white. After seeing it dried and finished, I sort of wish I would have done a very light gray shadowing effect on the legs and ears.
Getting the white to actually show up on the outfit took way too many layers. I lost count. After about 10. The white I use at just dollar store brand paint, while in this case it doesn't seem like it's good. A lot of the paint I use is either from the dollar store or from Walmart. Her necklace and the chain on her chest is sterling silver. I had trouble getting the black for her eyelashes on the head. I've seen a few people that will paint the whole eye black to make it easier. I should try that out. Her eyes are green, my favorite color eyes ever. They are so pretty. Color the main part of the eye with a darker color first. Then apply a lighter version of it inside to give the effect of the iris. Her mask was annoying, having to move it around so many times. If you want to see how I did the other side, pause the video, go back, and turn your screen upside down, and watch it again. The cat was actually fun. I used a red leather on the collar for her. It took a little bit of work to not get the red on her fur. The eyes were tough, I don't have the best eyesight. And since I can't go cross-eyed, I can't focus on really small details like that very easily. And with that done, it's on to the glamour shots. I had a real fun time painting her. It was a good learning experience for doing highlights on a suit and using a dark blue to give the effect of a worn skin tight outfit. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to help it grow. I am currently using 11 Labs for my voiceover, and I am hoping to hit 1,000 subs 
to maybe put ads into the video to pay for that, since even the $50 a year for it is still expensive to me.